I had a patient examining and I found a tissue for a cancer from a bad odor to a changed consistency of the saliva. You might be wondering just how crucial oral health really is. More than you could imagine, your mouth serves more than just a purpose for smiling and chewing. It reflects the inner health of your body. Today, we explore the unexpected connections between oral health and our entire body, influencing everything from heart to our liver and even playing a role in identifying serious conditions such as diabetes and cancer. Join us as we dive into fascinating world of oral health. Featuring insights from esteemed doctors. And oral health signifies the uh, general well-being of our general health and uh, it kind of dictates or you can uh, predict certain conditions in the, in the general health uh, that could be seen as a sign or a symptom in the oral cavity. Uh, that could be from a simple uh, you know, condition of um, you know, from a bad odor uh, to a change in the consistency of the saliva, uh, to the uh, uh, color of the tissue in the oral cavity, all these things can have an uh, have a hidden, uh, uh, um, you know, undiagnosed condition uh, that could prompt the physicians and the dentist to collaborate together. A dentist revealed an intriguing discovery in a patient's oral tissue, prompting a thorough investigation uncovering a concealed lung cancer. This illustrates how oral signs can occasionally serve as the initial warning signals of concealed health problems. Incredible, isn't it? It could probably, it, it could help you to see what is going on in, in an individual's body. Uh, you know, it could be like a marker or a predictor. Uh, to a greater extent. So there are different tests now coming in and there are different uh, investigation methods are being invented. So uh, all those things, for example, uh, I had a patient, I was examining and I found a small tissue which was very suspicious for a cancer. Okay. And then we did a biopsy and then it was confirmed to be a cancer. But the cancer was not the original site was not in the oral cavity and uh, we have to go and investigate and then we found a tumor in the lung oh. which was very quietly growing in there. Research indicates that oral problems such as sticky, thick saliva frequently correlate with diabetes while dry mouth may indicate autoimmune disorders like lupus. In essence, maintaining your oral health is synonyms with nurturing your entire body. You know, the salivary colors may not change a lot. The consistency of the saliva can always change. Like for example, the normally we see that in, in patients with diabetes, saliva becomes much more thick, uh, much more sticky, and uh, they are much, and sometimes they may be having a little bit of less saliva. So that could also be another, uh, you know, indicator. Uh, some patients having uh, autoimmune conditions you know like uh, diabetes also comes under that but there are other conditions like lupus so where the saliva becomes low in the mouth so other eyes and other secretory organs also becomes dry so that indicates that there's something wrong uh, in in this particular uh, patient and that, that prompts us to do more investigate there is even more to discover we strongly advise children to begin dental checkups before their first birthday laying the foundation for lifelong oral care habits. For the newborn child, uh, the first dental visit, uh, according to, I mean, this is uh, based on our guidelines mm -hmm. uh, in, the, in the US, mm -hmm. so uh, they can be seen uh, in the first year, by, before they turn one year. Now, let's dive into dental implants, a captivating subject for those seeking tooth replacements. Once considered a luxury, implants are now becoming accessible and affordable in India. These implants priced between 25,000 and 40,000 rupees offer budget friendly oral rehabilitation to individuals. I, I want to say that dental implants are becoming more affordable uh, for access to patients in different care settings. I have been hearing a lot more, uh, uh, you know, uh, companies have come up, uh, you know, providing better prices and better uh, variety in India to cater the uh, population and uh, that will be a great asset. Start by brushing your teeth twice a day, staying clear of sugary snacks and enjoying a balanced diet packed with fiber. And if you are adore chocolate, worry not. Savor your chocolate but be sure to rinse your mouth afterward. 
keep in mind that moderation is essential everybody likes chocolate yeah. so we shouldn't uh, make chocolate as the uh, sole <laughs> reason but yes kids who like chocolate uh, they should be taking extra care to uh, make sure they don't uh, you know it doesn't lead to uh, excessive cavities uh, but but again in overall what i've noticed is that as you mentioned lifestyle changes lifestyle. is making a difference not necessarily candy consumption or chocolate consumption like uh, you know like high sugar diet mm. you know like excess of soda anybody can uh, kids love chocolate they are attracted to it but again maintaining good oral hygiene after consu consuming chocolate meeting a dentist and uh, taking care of chocolate is not the enemy in this scenario however it's all about finding the perfect equilibrium maintaining good oral hygiene will let you enjoy chocolate without suffering tooth damage oral health goes beyond a dazzling smile it's essential for vibrant life keep in mind that each trip to the dentist might unlock the opportunity to identify health concern before it escalates if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up share it with your friends and family and subscribe for more health tips join us in transforming india into a healthier nation one smile at a time